G'day everyone and welcome to Com Prayer this Wednesday morning and it's my last Wednesday morning with you all for the year and what a chapter to to finish on chapter 18 of Revelations and there's a lot going on again in this chapter um, as we heard yesterday it's about the fall of Babylon and, and David um, talked about what was going on there in, in chapter 17 and now we see the lament over fallen Babylon and um, we've got to, I just want to remind us again that when we hear the word Babylon here for John, it's a metaphorical um, image of all that is evil within the world, all the evil desires and things that lure us uh, away from God and that is not really of God. So as I was reading this, I thought this isn't very cheerful. <laughs> Given the, this time of year, I was like, great, a few days before Christmas, and here we are. But there is something I think we can take from it. Something that we can remind us, even in this season of Christmas. So I'm going to read just a couple of verses from um, verse 4. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins so that you will not receive any of her plagues. For her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. What I think we can take from this, especially this bit here, a reminder for us not to share in the sins of, of Babylon, of all that is evil and all the lures of the world. And I say this because it got me thinking, Christmas time. There's a lot of things that try to lure us and the desires of the world that try to lure us away from what this season is really about. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I love going out and buying gifts and, and seeing the joy on someone's face when we give give gifts to each other. And, that, and I think, to me, that that's a blessing from God, to the ability to give gifts to one another and to see the joy on people's faces. But there is a danger. Sometimes we can fall into the trap of, of the marketing of the world that tells us we must have this, we need this. You, This will make your life better if you buy this latest gadget. And really, we sometimes, and I'll put my hand up, I fall victim to it. Sometimes I go, oh, I do, and I grab it, I buy it. And then afterwards, I'm a bit like, oh, I'm not actually satisfied with this. It hasn't fulfilled my desires. It's, it's taken from me, but hasn't actually given me anything. And so sometimes I think we've got to remember, at this time of year, the world can take from people a lot. And there's people in the world that a lot's been taken from them and they have nothing at Christmas. So I want us to think as we read this, as we hear these verses to come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins. We must remember to step out of all the commercialism of Christmas. And as I say, I look at my Christmas tree in the corner here. But remember the reason for the season. To remember where our desire really should lay. Not in the commercialism of the world, of the desires, of the sinfulness that the world tries to pull us away from. But to remember our desire is in God. Especially this time as we remember the desire for God to be with us, to come into the world as a little baby. And that's where our desire should be. It should be with that baby that came to be with us. Because ultimately, that baby grew up. And died on a cross for you and for me. And rose again so we could share in eternity with God. So we could not have fear of death anymore. But have eternal life. And for me that's a great hope. That's a great joy. There's a great peace within that. And a great love within that. So I want you, us both, you and myself, to take away today to remember not to fall into or to share into the sins that this world sometimes tries to pull us away from God, but to rest in that eternal hope with God. 
I'm going to pray for us now from our morning prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, God bless. I hope you have a blessed Christmas and New Year, a safe one with wherever you are. God bless.